everyone, this is Ross, and a lot of people ask me what the best LSU fig is. Louisiana State University had bred a number of figs, um, some called LSU Champagne, LSU Tiger, LSU Scots Black, LSU Scots Yellow, LSU Red. There's a lot of them. Um, and in today's video, I have a bunch of LSU figs that have been ripening in pretty pristine weather here. And I want to do a nice little comparison video for you guys talking about a few of the LSU figs and which one I think is my favorite. Um, unfortunately, we're out of LSU Red and I really like LSU Red, but I'm still kind of thinking about getting rid of it. Um, you know, it's a bit of a late season Celeste or a later season Celeste, I should say, but it does ripen at the same time as my LSU Scott's Black, like clockwork, actually. So I can't really complain too much about it, but um, it is getting a little bit of spoilage here. And I think it's because of the heat, potentially. I'm not entirely sure. It's been drying up on the tree. I've been really liking it, but in the last few weeks, it hasn't really performed all that well to me. Um, what I would consider to be the best LSU fig for my own standards, is probably some form of a berry fig. An LSU Tiger here, which is what you're looking at, is certainly a berry fig. We also have LSU Scots Black, which is also a berry fig. And then we have LSU Huye, which, believe it or not, is a honey fig, but it has a lot of berry tones to it. And I would say the three of these are probably gonna be the best of all the LSU figs. There's so many of them though that I really like and they're really a standard for quality. So if you're growing figs in the south and northeast, you gotta have one of these. I also really like LSU purple too. So I, it's hard to really come up with some sort of conclusion but maybe from this video, I will. And what I'm gonna do here is show you guys the figs before I cut them open here. I'm sure my buddy Brian's watching right now and he loves to uh, get this question. <laughs> I'm sure he gets this question a lot. Which is the best LSU fig, you know? So uh, really, it's really a matter up to preference, but so far, LSU Tiger has got a really nice flavor to it. It performs really well. It's also very early. Um, it seems reasonably hardy. So for me, I've got this one in spades. I have a number of these. Um, I think LSU Improved Celeste is probably the most reliable of the bunch. But, you know, it's not always about reliability, right? We want to grow something that is going to taste good. LSU Scott's Black has been my most productive fig this year. It's put out a huge amount of main crop. And it put out about seven Breva for me. Oh, this one's spoiled, unfortunately. At least the section of it. Um, they've been drying up on the tree and if we get enough weather, nice enough dry weather here, these figs can indeed dry up on the tree. When they get exposed like this, just like the LSU Scots Black did, maybe an insect got in there, like an ant, and started chewing away at the skin. You can actually see it back there. And once they get in there and open and expose that flesh, you really got to start picking it. Um, so let me... Get the last one here, LSU Huye. I don't know, it's gonna be really tough to say, I think, but so far my LSU Huye is quite young. It's still got more time to improve. A lot of these LSU figs, guys, they change year to year. Um, we can't forget about Champagne. I mean, there's so many of them. Look at that, isn't that a beaut? But then also on the LSU, um, tiger over here that is just a gorgeous fig i did have an lsu purple the other day and i was really surprised by how good it was because a lot of people don't like it and give it a bad rap it's got an interesting spice flavor to it kind of like cinnamon really an impressive fig so i think out of today's experience here lsu tiger is going to be the best particularly mm, this one right here, I think is gonna be the best. Let's try it. It's got a really awesome gray skin to it. Overall, that's a top quality fig. 
it's at least a three out of five. 3.5 out of five. Let's try the Scott's Black. Another great flavor. These are actually really small right now because a lot of them are ripening on the tree. I mean, I had so many of them that ripened at once. I would say though, the LSU Tiger has a slight edge on that. However, if they've dried up on the tree, I've had an LSU Scott's Braba this year at the right time of the year that really dried up on the tree and it was a, it was a four out of five. So, so far that I think has been better than all of these. And it's really just tough, it's really just extremely difficult to say. Here's LSU Huye. Let's try this one. It's actually quite good. And I'm picking up a lot of the berry flavor this time around. I'm gonna clear my palate. I think the tiger has a, has a lingering flavor to it. Wow. Huye is really good, guys. Holy hell. It's actually really good. Man, I don't know. I think the tiger though does have a lingering flavor to it. Um, but for me, I don't even know. I can't even, I can't come up with an answer for you guys because they're all really good figs. Um, maybe on a certain day or a certain time or a certain year, maybe, uh, you know, tomorrow I'm gonna try some that really blow me away of a specific variety. It's hard to say. What I do know is that they all really perform well here. Even LSU Red, which I think is the only one that I'm considering getting rid of. Um, but I know that's like Brian's favorite. So I know my buddy Brian loves it, so maybe I'll give it another year, but oh, they're just so good. They're so productive, they're so rain resistant. They really have done a nice job breeding these figs and people that have sort of selected them and kept a hold of them and uh, got them in their hands and, and continued that legacy or really did a nice job as well. Um, so overall, I think the lesson here is that the LSU figs are all really good. I really like LSU purple, by the way, which wasn't even on here. LSU improved Celeste, just the standard awesome fig. LSU champagne, a standard awesome honey fig. It's probably the gold standard that I use to judge against all other honey figs. Even LSU Red's good. It's got a nice layered, complex flavor to it. But I would say today, the best one because of how ripe it was, I think, was the LSU Tiger. But I don't know, man. I'm telling you, on another day, the LSU Scott's Black could beat it. And another day, maybe another day longer on the tree, the LSU Huye. Maybe a year from now when it matures a bit, because it's still quite a young tree, could also beat it. And the LSU Huye, by the way, sounds very, it seems very early. Um, the rain resistance doesn't seem to be there because it's splitting down the side, unfortunately. But again, these, that's a young tree. We'll see what happens. All these trees, man, they mature. Um, it takes them a bit to mature and they really start to show their true colors. My LSU Tigers last year were horrible. This year, they're incredible. My Scott's Blacks were very different last year and the year before. So, all right guys, that is the video here on LSU, the LSU figs. Um, yeah, I wanna thank you guys for watching this one. If you know somebody who's into growing figs um, or wants to get into growing figs, share this video with them. It's really informative, definitely helps out the channel. And we'll catch you all soon, all right? Take care, we'll see you for tomorrow's video. See you now.